Hi friends, my name is Reina and welcome back to another class. Today's session is a soft session. This will be a very gentle, very soft class. You're welcome to do this from your bed. I'm just kind of on the floor here. I have a bolster under me and I have a couple pillows behind me. So when you're ready, we'll get started in a comfortable seat. And when I say comfortable seat, I truly mean whatever is comfortable for you. So you can be in a chair, you can have your legs extended, you can be cushioning yourself. I'm gonna take my second pillows here and just put them under my knees. So I have support kind of for all my floating body parts here. And then let your hands rest on your legs, maybe in your lap or down by your sides. Allow your eyes to close or your gaze to soften, whatever feels most safe for you right now. And take a moment to just observe yourself. And as you observe, observe your breath, just feeling kind of the length and reach of your breath, the texture, the quality of it, and inviting yourself to find a little more ease there, a little more softening, a little more smoothness. And as the breath softens, finding spaces in the body where you can soften. So maybe the shoulders, you can shrug them a few times, allowing them to relax away from your ears. Maybe the belly, maybe your jaw. And with your next exhale, try just clearing your body out as much as you can. Draw an easy breath in through your nose. Close your teeth and as you exhale, make that shushing sound. Really push the air out, feel your tummy contract. Inhale through your nose. Close your teeth, exhale. Three more like that, deep breath in. Inhale. Last one, deep breath. Good. And slowly begin to blink your eyes open or refocus your gaze. And just take this small reminder from me that this is your time, this is your practice. And so I really encourage you to find comfort and to find ease and to take my words, not so much with a grain of salt, but with a grain of knowledge that you know yourself and you know what you need. So if something is feeling really off, my recommendation is to step back from it, step away from it, and do what your body knows is more suitable for you, maybe within the framework that I offer. So from here, we'll extend our legs out. And so I like having a little cushion under my knees, especially for a softer practice. Shuffling from side to side, just take a moment, pull the flesh out and away from the center of your body so you can really feel rooted through your sit bones. If you're feeling any tension in your lower back or your hips, I do recommend propping your hips up a little bit higher. Gently pull your toes towards your body. Stay right here for a moment. Take a deep breath in, pull your toes a little closer to your shins. Exhale, point through your toes. Good, inhale, toes towards your body. Exhale, point. Last one, inhale, toes towards your body. And exhale, point. Good, relax your foot, but find a little middle ground. So maybe a little bit of pull, not a full flop. 
Good. Hands rest on your legs. Press your hands down, maybe just your fingertips. And with an inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round your back. Drop your chin towards your chest. Good. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round. Two. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, round. Good. Come to center. Left hand presses into the inside of your left leg. Right hand comes behind your body. So the back of your right hand gently lays on your lower back and gently twists to the right. It's not a big twist. You can wiggle those right fingertips towards your left hip, relaxing your right shoulder away from your ear for three, two, and one, come to center. Release your right hand and press your right hand to the inside of your right leg. Left hand comes behind your back. Gently twist towards the left. And if you're not feeling a ton of physical sensation here, that's okay. I'm personally working on and have been for a little while releasing the idea that things need to be physically intense or really physically demanding to be impactful or to be important. Just finding one more round of breath here. Come back to center. Bring both hands in between your body or use your legs for support as we fold forward. So hands can be on the ground or on your legs. Chest moves forward, so spine maintains its length here, but then see how it feels to drop your chin just a little towards your chest. So we're not completely rounding the neck. We're just trying to find a nice neutrality in it. Good, maybe walk your hands a little bit further forward or towards your toes. A nice grip on the ankles can be great here, or even gripping the ground in front of you. Continuing to find a little more depth for three. For two. And one. Walking your hands back towards your body. Bringing yourself up and then bringing the soles of your feet together. So you can lean back, you can balance on your bum. And if you're using any kind of cushion, you can continue to use them under your legs. And just adjusting and readjusting till you feel supported. There you go. So hands can rest just on your ankles or on your knees, wherever you feel like you can get a nice little grip here. Begin to circle your rib cage. And these circles can be fast, they can be slow. But taking your time to ease into these because if you're feeling emotional, if you're holding on to something, moves like this can have the tendency to stir things up a bit because we are kind of exploring the stirring motion. And so I invite you again to be slow, to kind of arrive into the posture. <sighs> Finding some nice big breath here and big is relative. So your big breath is gonna be different than my big breath. Continuing to mix things up. And if you ever need a little moment of stillness, take it. Pausing just to switch directions. And you'll notice maybe your hips come off the ground, maybe your head and neck kind of join the party, or maybe things stay really central. It's your move to kind of make your own Taking time to build awareness of your wants and your needs. And that's what you're doing here. You're doing a lot of things, but that's one of them. Learning to discern who you are, what you like in this kind of physical, breathy, emotional way. 
Breathing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Start to let those circles dissolve. Slowing things down, bringing them central. And then eventually they just kind of fade away. Taking a moment right here to feel the physical stillness. And then getting a grip of your knees or your ankles and folding forward. Gentle fold here, giving your hands and maybe even your forearms and elbows some support. And so if your hands are on your feet, you may be able to rest your forearms along your calves, your elbows in that same area. Or if your hands are a little bit higher, you can press them onto the insides of your legs, giving them somewhere to rest. And if you're in a chair, this is honestly a very similar shape. Your feet come together, your knees go a little bit wider, and you fold forward. Good. Very slowly coming up. And bringing your legs into a comfortable shape. And so you can stay just like this. You can extend your legs or find kind of somewhere in between. I'm gonna cross at my ankles and find Sukhasana easy pose. Returning to that space where you're just kind of pulling the flesh out, giving yourself a nice tall seat. Hands can rest on your thighs and your lap really any direction. Good. And we'll come into some short breath work here. Just some really simple, really grounding and centering breath work. And so we'll be doing a box breath um, or a square breath. It is a four part breath. Inhale, hold your breath. Exhale, hold on empty. And each section will get three counts. If you are someone who's pregnant, I do not recommend holding your breath or holding on empty. And so you can cycle through the inhales and the exhales in even parts. Let's take a moment, feel the comfort, feel the ease and feel a little lift. Allow your eyes to close or your gaze to soften. With your next exhale, try to clear your body out. And draw a slow, even breath in through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. One more like that and then we'll get started. So inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Good. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, Two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, in. Hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, 
hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. Easy breath in. Easy breath out. Slide one hand onto your belly, one onto your chest, either touching your body or hovering over it. I'm just taking a moment here to find and maybe feel some gratitude for yourself for making time for your wellness, for your self-care, for your breath for your body, for your mind. Doing good things for yourself is essential and it is important. You are very deserving of this time and so I am so, so glad that you took it and I am so glad that I got to be a small part of it. Taking a moment to find and feel some gratitude for your body for being wonderful, for holding you in this space. I encourage you to find as many moments as you can to be in awe of yourself. With a small bow of my head to you, thank you for being here, for sharing your time with me. It's a gift, it's a privilege, and an honor to be your teacher, so thank you again. Have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And I will see you next time we're on the mat together.